Hello, we're the, uh, the final couple. I think we're the only Swiss Swiss couple, yeah? <laughs> Tonight, so because we're closing the show, let me thank um, Stephen and <coughs> you, but thanks for inviting us. Thank you for putting this Swiss event together and the rest of the whole um, European Poetry Festival. So maybe. Um, Okay, um, I'll give you the title in Swiss German. So we did our little Swiss German um, bit, and then we'll uh, read an experimental text um, in English. So in Swiss German, be um, Span the mixtape from Danu on from Michu. <laughs> and in English, uh, Fair and Pantanos Bernese mixtape. The afternoon. Bell peels to children out of school. They say it's great to see you after all these years. You can't look at them, but you believe them. The missing parents are wading through the rust. You can't make yourself believe in the end of winter. Back in the 80s, the papers called this place a neo-Nazi nest. The clear signs. Several cats have been laid out upon a tarp. Porcelain bowls. Twigs pointing toward the bird bath. There are no spontaneous protests going on anywhere. On March 13th, your mother shot herself in the head. The names of the rivers keep changing. A downpour. Where are the birds? A lifting and flying above the landfill. Nearby, time is running out. You'd better stay. A Tamil man hung from the street light, a murmuration, a golden flag with three rivers. There's so much to lose. Far from here, a perfect clay sky, a handful dark ash. It is March 14th, the indispensable and necessary. There's a mute crowd coming from the other room. You are the crowd coming from the other room. It's called the Queen in the Forest. An old man has gathered berries and nuts in the forest. He carries them home through the forest in a basket. But when he arrives at the clearing where his house stands, he sees a snake lying outside the door in the grass. What are you doing outside my door? He asks it. The snake replies, I am the queen in the forest. If you try to go into the house, I will bite you to death and then eat you. <laughs> if you try to escape, then too, I will bite you to death and then eat you. <laughs> if you try to stay where you are standing, I will wait until you have starved. You will die all by yourself and then I will eat you. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the man has recognized that the snake belongs to a species that is known in the whole region for its deadly and particularly painful bite. <laughs> I fear your poisonous bite, snake, 
Therefore, I prefer to sit down where I am on the ground and uh, wait until I have starved. But look, I have still these berries and nuts in my basket. What am I supposed to do with them? Just to eat them, the snake replies. They might make you nice and fat. <laughs> I don't think so. I have never looked different to the way I look now. At my age, I will hardly grow fat, but I'm still lucky to eat the berries and nuts. He takes a handful out of the basket, pushes some of them singly into his mouth with thumb and index finger, chewing he turns to the snake. If this proves to be my last meal, I would at least like to converse a little. <laughs> Every day we peddle our nameless names on the sidewalks, the boulevards, the train stations, demanding attention, this other thing we cannot name, pleading to speak again as the crowd watches the idea of a crowd. Our labor, our soap, our echo, beyond the tracks, a mule. To the south, a white pony. A farm to the east, smoke our fists or lives written or drawn by a mute child who makes the color blue scream all night like a voice or a sky or nothing at all. Tell me, Snake, <laughs> what, makes, what makes you want to eat me? You have seen I'm old and thin and certainly no treat. The snake raises its head. Don't you see how big I am? To sustain such a body, I must take what I can get. If I meet an animal in the forest, I will eat it. If I pass a house in a clearing, I will eat its inhabitants. That's all quite simple. <laughs> oh yes, I, I, I understand. Th that's how you do it. Uh, no, uh, that hadn't occurred to me yet, but you, you're, you're right. You're, you're big and you're, uh, you're beautiful. And, uh, <laughs> your, your scales gleam like precious metals. Uh, but not as hard, of course. Uh, <laughs> on the contrary, they, 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 they gleam smoothly like... Uh, and in colors of brown and green and... The snake turns and twists and sticks its tongue out. speak of childhood, so bring your sad horses inside and tell me, what will you do to me again? Not in a hush, but in a whisper, twisted and weightless, with the sky like chocolate. While your beasts forgive themselves, treacherously dancing against the charred bush. How sweet to grieve, how sweet to watch your house burn down, never to lock your splendid doors again. Memory as a body of halls. Someday we will name a new color again, hide inside its pigment, a rediscovered light. You have noticed 
I'm not just big, I'm also beautiful. <laughs> Have you looked at, at my eyes as well? They are as yellow as the inside of a bird's egg and in between a deep, narrow crevice, so dark is the black of my eyes. The old man says, no, that uh, hadn't occurred to me yet, but uh, you, 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 you're right. Your, your eyes are wondrously beautiful, and, uh, and, and uh, your tongue is beautiful too, fine and pointed and split precisely in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I know my tongue is beautiful too. Recently, when I wanted to dive into the lake in the forest for the first time to catch a fish, I saw my reflection and in it I recognized my beauty. <laughs> I swam to the middle of the lake and it curled up there on a lily pad until my tail was elegantly rolled up from it and my head stuck out like a blossom. I called into the forest, look at me. I am the queen in the forest. But then a bird cheekily twittered from a tall tree. Oh, what a spectacle you're making of yourself. Size and beauty by no means make a queen. First, prove that you are strong as well. And now, unfortunately, the story goes on and on, but we are running out of time, but this is more or less the setting of it. <laughs>